Right, this is Gamer Reviews 1, 2, 3, and, the, and this is part 2 of the Gamer Setup for Easy Cap Screen Recorder, which I use. Right, in this section, in this video, basically what I'm going to be showing you is how to get the best quality out of the Easy Cap software that comes with it free. The software is called ULead Video Studio Software, and it's a really useful, easy to use, easy to pick up techniques on software, and it's, it's pretty good considering it's free. The only criticism I have about it is it tends to break a lot, especially if you've got like a, a computer that's really slow it tends to not respond quite often but you know it, it, it gives high quality video for a cheap price so first thing you'll see once you've installed it and opened it is this screen basically you've got your video studio editor which I use I recommend using it to everyone who uses this software as what you can do is you can capture your video and then go straight into the edit and software which you use to edit your videos unlike the movie wi wizard which you just capture your video and then you've got to close it and go onto the editor and everything. So I recommend using this. So let's call that. By the way, it's more or less exactly the same. You can edit the same options. It doesn't affect the quality or anything. And if you're running this on Vista, it should change the color scheme to basic if it's not already on basic. Okay, so it's open. This is what you should see. You should see it's already in the edit section. Now you'll see that there's seven tabs up here on the top. You've got the capture tab. Edit, Effect, Overlay, Title, Audio, and Share. Alright, just ignore all of them apart from the Share, Capture, and Edit tabs for now. Right, so what you want to do is you want to start recording, obviously. So you go into Capture, Capture Video. And then it should process. And if it's plugged in correctly... It should load the field order and you should see what's on your screen. So let's click OK. And there we go, there's my screen. It's currently hooked up to my PlayStation, which is ready to go on Modern Warfare 2, the best game ever. So, what we want to do is to start off to get the best quality. If you've never used this software before and it's the first time using it, you're going to go to Options, Capture Options. And you're going to make sure the capture audio is ticked if you want to capture the audio. This is important because when you when you first start up the software, the default is unticked. So just make sure that's ticked. Then you click OK. Next part, you're going to go on Options again. Video, video and Audio Capture Property Settings. Click on that. And now you're going to go on Video, Input Source. Go to the drop-down menu. Change it to Video Composite. Then audio, now this is important because it's different for everyone's um, laptop or computer. What you want to do is you want to go to USB audio interface, mine's cut off of it there, it says interfer. Mine says microphone and then in brackets USB audio interface, so you click that. And then preview audio with USB device. Ignore channel colour for now and go on to capture. Now what you want to do is you want to tick DVD. And change the quality to 100 unless you don't want 100 percent quality then you want to go on advanced and then change this in the drop down menu to dvd pal 720 by 576 and you can just ignore all of this just click ok and then ok again and that should change it to the best quality that you can get out of this software let's click ok Now, just before I capture it, if you're using um, a SCART adaptable switch box and, the, and you can see this, yeah, don't panic. All you have to do is flick the switch on the back of your um, adaptable SCART and the screen should come on pretty soon. In fact, almost instantly. Okay, so you've resolved that. You know, to capture video and then it should wait for a while and then start recording. So I'm just going to record, I don't know, just going across the cross media bar and back again. Okay, and then you can just stop the capture. Okay, so now um, you'll have, like, it'll go back to this and you can still move around. It's still your screen, you're still capturing it. So let's, you don't want to capture anymore. You've caught what you want. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to edit. And clip, click on the clip, the latest clip, which will be your clip. 
Um, just click play to see if it works okay, wherever. And then you can use the jog slider to move across or wherever. Okay. So now I'm going to state something that's going to probably annoy you a lot because it annoys me a lot using this software, but you have to do it, I guess. Every time that you want to recapture, so say I want to capture, I don't know, something else, let's go and recapture again. Let it change the field order. Now, every time you want to capture, you're going to have to reprogram everything that's in the video and audio capture property settings. So you're going to have to change the sound back and the DVD quality, everything. It's really annoying. I'm sure I'm going to cancel that now. It's really annoying, but I suppose you've got to do it if you want the best quality. Now, a little hint or a tip that I recommend is capture all your videos before you go into the editing thing. Because if you, if you if you capture them all and then go into the editing thing, you'll have to keep going back and reprogramming it. And if you've got like like I, I do montages, so I've got loads and loads of clips. It's really annoying going back in and capturing it. So I just capture all the clips first, and then I go into the editing software and edit. So we're gonna go into the editing software now. Now it's really it's really easy to pick up techniques for this. If you want to add effects, you just go on effect tab there. And we can just drag and drop them onto the timeline or into tr these are transitions, I think. So if we add another video to it, let's go back into the edit and I don't know, let's add that bit. Oh, we can't because that's not there anymore. I don't know, let's drag this one into the timeline. Then we can go on effect and we can drag it into this small square here and it adds the effect in. And you can preview the clip, just the clip of the door opening. Or we can go to project just here and then restart the whole thing and then it plays the entire project through just skip it a bit and then it gets to there and then there's your doors open now I don't, I, don't, I don't really recommend using the effects for this so I recommend you use a different software for effects etc because they're not really that good there isn't really a wide variety to choose from on new lead all right so you've done all your edit and whatever you've shortened it down everything so now you want to export, don't you? So you go to share, create video file, and then you're going to select PAL DVD 16 by 9. So go ahead and click that. Now, I always I always state mine as a desktop, as, as I've already said before, because it's easy to find. So let's just call it capture underscore PS. PS. Alright, let's stop that. So and we can just save that, and then it'll render for a while. Of course, the video clip's only like what nine seconds long, so it's not gonna take as much to render as I always say a five-minute video. So once it's rendered, the clip's done, and there's everything ready, and it should go straight into there into your into your library, and it should play automatically. I'm just gonna stop that. So there it is there, and then if we take this off, you find there's the video there on the desktop where we saved it to, and you can open that and play it in Windows Movie Maker. Now all you have to do is go take it into Windows Movie Maker and then follow the tutorial, which is also on my channel to make it into HD. Thank you for watching. This has been my two-part review on how to make, um, how to how to get have a gamer setup just like mine. So, please rate, subscribe, and comment on my channel, as all feedback is greatly appreciated and will be taken into consideration. So, thanks for watching. It's been great. Gamer Reviews 1, 2, 3, showing you my gamer setup. Bye.